Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are now on the eighth day of Christmas and in this video today, I'm gonna do all about zippers. We're gonna do how to put poles on, the different types of zippers, um, the different kinds of pockets you can make with them, just a couple of the little tips and tricks that you need to know. I always get questions about it, so I thought this might be a good quick reference video to have on my channel. So sit back and enjoy everything I know about zippers and I am going to share it with you. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the different kinds of zippers that you can get. For bag making, the most common zipper that you use is a nylon number five zipper. And it usually comes in yardages of anywhere from one to 10 yards of zipper tape. And what you have to do is cut it down. Uh, for which project you're using and how big you need the tape to be. So along with that, obviously, you have to buy zipper poles, okay? So zipper poles and zipper tape. There are two different main sizes in bag making. There's number three, which is a smaller size, mostly used in wallets. This is for small pouches and wallets when you don't need a big bulky zipper. Now, if you buy number three zipper tape, you're going to need a number three zipper pull, which is a much smaller head, okay? Number five is the most common use in bags, um, and it has a bigger head with the zipper pull, and that's what you're gonna be using for the most part. A lot of people do buy these pre-made zippers from the craft stores which and online, which you can do as well. You usually just have to trim off this little metal piece here and cut it down a little bit. Um, it's just a different um, style and a different way to work with zippers, but you definitely can use pre-made zippers and pulls. You can't really pick pretty poles when you do that. It just comes with that, you know, general uh, zipper pole on it. So that's the fun thing about buying the zipper tape in the yards. You can buy different styles of poles, which are always really fun to have. Okay, so the hardest thing for people new to bag making is attaching your pole to your zipper. Now, some people use a tool, which is called a zipper jig, or if you're like me, I have just learned to use my hands. Um, I'm gonna show you both ways, so let's do that next. So funny enough, I don't think I have a zipper jig. Um, I have either given them all away, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have because I never use them, um, but I will link some good sources for zipper jigs below if you cannot do this by hand it pretty much takes over the part of your hand holding the zipper into place. Um, it's just an extra hand for putting on a pole. So I will show you how I do it with my hands. It takes practice. It took me, I mean, a good few months to where I could just pop it on with no problem. So just be patient with yourself. Take the time to kind of do it different ways and know what works for you. When you cut zipper tape, it's gonna fray. Do you see how it's fraying right there? You always need to seal it with a lighter. I just get a lighter and just hit the edges just like that. And it seals it right up. Very important, you don't want your zipper fraying in your project because then it can just like completely come undone. Look at that. And that would not be a good thing. See how that just seals it all up? Okay, very important. I always have a lighter for my thread and my zipper by my machine. Okay, so putting on a zipper. You wanna take the end and pull it apart and separate it. Just like that, okay. Now, when you're looking at it beforehand, you can also pay attention as to which coil was the first one started, okay? That will also help you with how you insert it into your zipper. I just kind of do it by sight. All right, so I have my zipper here. Let's hope I can show this. So I'm going, I always slide my right side in first 
and I hold it with this hand. No, I hold it with this hand like this. And then I take this side here and put it in right there. And then I'm going to hold the two layers together with my thumb and my finger. And while I do that, I'm going to situate it so they're somewhat even in there. And you just have to kind of look at it and get it so they look like they're right next to each other. And you're going to hold your zipper tape with your finger and your thumb and you're pushing the zipper on with this hand. Oh, and it's a little crooked and you can kind of tell. Okay, I just had to kind of work it down. Again, this just takes practice. Now, I'm gonna show you, it is uneven. Do you see how that's uneven? This one needs to go up one notch. So I don't completely rip it off. I just take it off until they're both in that zipper pole again and I very carefully move it one up. And I did it too much. <laughs> See, even I struggle. <laughs> now I need to take it back down one. It just, you just have to be patient with yourself sometimes. Ah, look at that. There you go, now it's even. You can see how it kind of lines up nicely. There's no weird bump on one side or the other. It's on there good. All right, I would suggest just sitting down and practicing doing that a couple times over and over again until you kind of get the feel and the hang for it. Okay, so that is zipper installation. Let's go to the next tip. Okay, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step. with this zipper. I'm going to put a zipper tab on one end and I'm going to do a 90 degree turn on the other end. These are two common things that you have to do in zippers. Um, I cut out different types of zipper tabs depending on what the pattern calls for. It'll have you do it differently. Um, one of the simplest, easiest tabs, well, two of the simplest, easiest tabs is just a simple, one inch or you know three quarters inch and all you do is fold it in half and slide it onto the end of your zipper that is the easiest zipper tab and then you just sew down and it attaches that zipper tab so it covers your raw edge and you're good to go on your zipper end okay easiest one of the other ones that is mainly used for when you want to put a zipper pocket on a bag but you don't want these zipper ends in your seam are these longer tabs all you're going to do is lay it down right sides together here you will in most cases sew a quarter inch line right there and then you flip it over flatten it out and top stitch it that keeps the bulk out of your seam allowance right up here. And normally I don't do a lining tab because you can't really see the side inside your pocket. I sealed my zipper nice, it's not gonna fray. That's how I do just a tab out of my seams for the zipper. All right, another style of tab is where you're going to fold it in. So this tab is, one and a half inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw my center line here. And I want to fold my raw edges into that center line. You can also use some double-sided tape, but you're folding your tab, your raw edges in, and then you're folding it again. And this is mainly used for material that you don't really want a raw edge for. And then all you do is encase that end of your zipper in that tab and you top stitch that on. Another easy tab, that's done a lot on pouches where you don't want this in your seam at all on the top. Um, that's probably the most common use for this type of tab. The last tab I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna sew this one on. This is about 
an inch and a quarter. <clears throat> I'm going to sew this right sides together and then I'm gonna fold it over and top stitch it and I'll show you how that ends up turning out. So pretty much what I'm saying is there is a lot of different ways to do tabs on zippers. Um, every pattern is different. So I would suggest just trying different ways, figuring out which way that you like. All right, so I sewed that on. I'm gonna fold it back. And then you can either fold that raw edge in and fold that down so it's both folded edges or since this is vinyl, I could just fold it down just like that, leaving that raw edge. I'm gonna top stitch that and you can easily trim that down to look nice. So that's what it looks like on one side. And on the back, you've got that little overhang there. And what you can do is just trim that down to a nice, even, done. And that's on the back of your zipper. It won't be seen. It looks great when that's in your project. That's what it's gonna look like. It looks great from the front. Okay, those are all the different zipper tab styles. There's probably more out there. Those are the four main ones that I could think of. The next thing that a lot of patterns call for, and I put my zipper tab on, or my <laughs> I sewed my zipper tab onto the wrong side. That's okay. This is just our practice zipper. So I'm gonna cut that off. I'm gonna melt it. And now we're gonna do a 90 degree turn. There are, to my knowledge, four different ways to do this. Um, four different methods. I am gonna show you the easiest way that I like to do it. Um, this is just, is the way I learned and it's the way that I have been the most successful at. Okay, so say I need to do a 90 degree turn on this end of my zipper. You can measure anywhere from an inch to three quarters. I'm gonna do three quarters. That makes it pretty even when you do it this way. I'm going to evenly mark both sides of my zipper. And that's what you have, and it needs to be on the end where your zipper is gonna open. So I'm gonna pull that apart. Okay, now those two lines are my pinch lines. They're gonna be my fold and pinch lines, all right? And I like to use straight pins just the method that I uh, have found works the best for me. So I'm going to pinch at that line that I made and it kind of pulls this top back automatically. And I'm going to pull that fold right up to meet the teeth of that zipper up there. So the fold is right there. That is our 90 degree turn and I like to put a pin right there. Okay, now you need to do it on the other side and because you marked it evenly and you're pinching at the same spot, it should be nice and even when it's all put together. Okay, that is my turn. So when I pull that up, it's nice and even, it looks great. Okay, now to get that to stay there, I'm just going to baste the edge on each side of this zipper. And I like to just start with a couple stitches here and then I take my pin out and go the rest and then back stitch. And then it just looks so beautiful. Look at that. And then I'm gonna trim it down. Now I have seen lots of hacks and quicker ways and do it this way and do it that way. And you can try all the different ways, totally fine. 
This is just the way that I get the most successful turn evenly on all of my zippers. Look how nice that looks when it's all done. I mean, I think that looks pretty dang good. All right, I'm gonna do the other side. Here we go. Take my pen out. All right. Trim it down, melt it. And obviously I'm using thread that doesn't match the pink so you guys can see the contrast. I'm doing that on purpose because I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. And look how gorgeous that looks. There's your 90 degree turn on your zipper ready to install in a bag. All right, let's go to the next little, next little tip. I am going to show you the most commonly uh, used zipper pocket. So I'm gonna do a regular zipper pocket where you just put it right in your lining and then I'm gonna show you a overlay zipper pocket. So those are the two most common pockets that I have done in bags that are good to know. All right, so for this zipper pocket, I have my zipper tape with a pull on it. I put some double-sided tape on each side. I'm gonna set that aside for a minute. I have my two zipper pocket pieces. You can have one full piece for this. You don't have to have two separate. I'm just, I'm using scraps, so it's what I had. Um, so I have my zipper pocket lining, basically, are these pieces, and then my lining that I am installing the zipper pocket in. All right, so for this part, my go-to measurements for drawing out a zipper onto the pocket lining is one inch down and then a half inch wide, okay? One inch down, half inch wide, and then one inch in on each side. That's not always the measurements that patterns use, but that is my go-to for when I'm doing zipper pockets. It seems to work the best and yeah. Okay, so on the right side of my lining, I have my centers clipped here. So this is like the lining of my bag. I have it right side up. I'm gonna mark my center so I know where my center is. And then I need to decide how far down I want that zipper pocket to be. I think I want it about right there. So that is, let's see, that's about two inches down from the top. So we're going to make it even and give myself a guideline for placement, okay? So there is the center and placement for my pocket. So. With most materials, if you fold it, it gives you a good center crease and you don't have to mark it. So I'm just gonna fold it. And I'm going to place it along that top line and that center right there. Beautiful. Right side to right side. So this is the wrong side of my zipper pocket lining. Right side of it is facing the right side of this bag lining, okay? I'm gonna place those two pieces together. I'm gonna sew around this rectangle that I drew. That is my zipper pocket opening. I'm gonna sew around that. I am going to use a smaller stitch length. You want your stitch length to be on the smaller side for that. And then we will go to the next step.
Okay, awesome, that's what I have. I'm going to cut that open right in the middle of that. I like to do just I used to do this with my X-Acto knife all the time, and now I just use scissors. It's so much easier. Okay, I'm gonna cut a straight line down the middle of that, and then I'm gonna do a Y shape to each corner here. You don't wanna snip through your stitching just as close as you can to it. Um, some people don't do this side down stitching here. They only do two uh, lines, top and bottom, and then they make this snip and turn it. That works too. I just tend to do the full box. I, it works good for me. So you can try two different methods when it comes to sewing this rectangle. Okay. Once you have that zipper box all clipped, you want to pull your lining, your zipper pocket lining through your bag lining hole here. And because I'm using, I'm using waterproof canvas and water resistant, so I won't have to take this to an iron, but if you're using materials like cotton um, or just regular canvas, you may want to take it to an iron to give this a good press. But you just want to get this nice, the seam pulled through nice and pressed, just like that. So that, I would take that and I would give that a good press on my iron if I had cotton materials. That's the front, that's the back. Beautiful. All right, the next thing I wanna do is get my zipper. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so on most bags, your zippers open from left to right. So if you wanna pay attention to that, that would be good. Um, I It really bothers me when that doesn't <laughs> happen. So I make sure that my zippers open from left to right on all my bags. Um, I like to take off the bottom part of this double-sided tape first off of my zipper. And I like to put that in first. So you're just gonna take your um, piece that you were working on. I like to pull it up like that, make sure it's centered on that zipper. Okay, and then I'm going to very carefully place that on and try and get it as even as I can. right there, okay? And then I like to flip this part up. I'm going to take the other side of the tape off and then very carefully place the lining on the top part of the zipper. Trying to just get the placement looking the same on both sides. Right there, okay, so now my zipper is in. I'm gonna go ahead and sew around this zipper. And I typically do a bigger um, top stitch length for my sewing around this zipper. Pull that zipper pull out of your way when you get up to it.
All right, melt any little pieces that you may have. And that, yeah, this part, I could have gone one more. It looks kind of wonky on that end. It looks good on that end. That takes practice as well. Um, and I used a very contrasting thread so you could see it. <laughs> Normally it would blend in a little bit better. Okay, so my zipper is put in. All that's left is to attach the back side of your pocket. You would just place it on there and make sure that it's separate from your bag lining and you would sew all the way around. If you were doing a bag that's pulled through the pocket, you would leave the bottom open for your zipper pocket. Um, and that is my most common used installation for a zipper pocket. We are now going to show the zipper overlay installation. So a lot of patterns call for a zipper overlay, which is just this cute little accent that you can put over. It really adds, especially on the back of bags, on the outside, on the inside, you can get custom made ones done with a logo or a saying. They're super fun to add to a bag. And some people get really scared to do them. They are not scary. They are actually quite simple. So I'm gonna show you one of the ways you can install it. There are a couple of different ways to sew in the zipper and the pocket lining, but I'm just gonna show you one of the many ways. All right, so pretend this is my exterior of my bag. This is my zipper overlay. I want to first place some double-sided tape on the back middle of this zipper overlay, not on the edges, through the middle, okay? Just like a layout. All right, beautiful. You're going to take that off and then depending on your bag and your marking, mark where you want this to lay and you are going to very carefully lay that on, make sure it looks even and straight. Beautiful. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to sew along the outer edge of this zipper overlay all the way around. That is the first step to zipper overlays. All right, here we go. All right, so that's the back. That is the front. Ooh, so pretty. All right, so now you wanna cut out the middle part of the zipper overlay. You don't need this middle part, which is why it's important you don't put your double-sided tape on the edge of this overlay because you need to be able to cut away your material from that. So I like to put a line down the center and then I'm gonna cut it away from the edge of my overlay all the way around. It doesn't have to be a ton, just enough that it doesn't show from the other side. All right, 
So that's what it looks like on the back now. You're not going to be able to see that. So it looks sloppy. It doesn't matter because look how it looks on the front. It's beautiful. Okay. I'm going to put this piece aside. I'm going to take my two lining pieces and my zipper tape. And then I need a pull for that. Let me go grab a pull real quick. All right, here is my pull. I'm just going to put that on. If you wanna put it on after you sew on the lining uh, zipper pocket pieces, you can. I'm just gonna do it right now though. Beautiful. Okay, so there is my zipper and my pull. So you wanna take, now I know this um, canvas is the same color on both sides, but you wanna take your lining piece and have it right side up and your zipper tape right side up. You are gonna sew along the top edge of those two pieces. I do about a scant quarter of an inch seam allowance, okay? Along the top of this right here, a scant fourth of an inch, quarter, fourth, yeah. All right, here we go. I want to fold that up. I'll make a nice good crease right here. I want my zipper to lay flat on this side. So my seam is going down. I want it to lay flat. Okay. Again, this canvas crease is really nice, but if I had cotton, I would take that to my iron and I would press it nice and open just like that. Some people top stitch this down you can do that, but with the way we're installing it, it'll lay funky when it's all said and done. So I'm not gonna top stitch that down. I'm just gonna crease it really good. All right, now take your second lining piece right side up. Take the other edge of that zipper right side up and put those two together and sew them the exact same way we just did. A scant fourth quarter of an inch along this edge. So after that's all sewn on, when you're looking at it from the right side up of your zipper, you should be seeing the wrong sides of your lining. When you flip it over and you have the inside of your zipper, you should see the right sides of your lining. I should have used, sorry, I should have used material that had a wrong and a right. This is kind of <laughs> the same on both sides. All right, so I want to flatten that seam down. That zipper is laying flat. This is laying flat. Now I'm going to put some double-sided tape along each side of that zipper. Just like that. We are now gonna put that into our overlay piece. So the first thing we wanna do is sew the bottom. We're going to flip both pieces of our zipper lining up. We have this zipper, it's laying flat like that, okay? My, actually, wait, I wanna do it this way. 
because I want my zipper opening from left to right. I'm going to take off this bottom piece of tape. I'm gonna place it underneath this overlay very carefully, lining it up nicely. And then I want to sew, and I want to start about an eighth of an inch before this side. And I'm gonna just sew a straight line along the bottom and end an eighth of an inch past. So we're just sewing this bottom line first, okay? Now there are a couple different ways you can do this. Some patterns have you lay out this zipper completely flat and put this on top and do it all at once and go around it all at once. But the only problem with that is it doesn't close down nicely. This method that I'm showing you, it makes it so when you are all finished and pull that lining down, it just lays really nice and flat. So there are a couple different ways to install this zipper overlay pocket. All right, so there's that. And I'm going to center it here and try and get it evenly. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let me just redo this side real quick. I want it a little bit closer. Okay, that's what I've got right now. Both of my pieces are folded up. That's what the back should look like. Your pieces should be folded up. This should be laying flat. Okay, I'm just sewing along this bottom line. Now, if you have contrasting thread, you need to not backstitch and pull through your threads. Um, I show that on a lot of different videos. I'm not showing that on this video since it's just about zippers, but just keep that in mind if you're doing contrasting threads. All right, here we go. Okay, so I sewed from here to here. I am now going to flip my pocket pieces down. So this one goes down and this one goes down the other way. So now they're going down. I'm going to take the top part of my tape off here. Zoop. And then I'm gonna carefully place my overlay down on that top part of the zipper where I want it, just like that. Okay, so now I wanna take, um, I wanna start where I left off down here. I'm gonna come up the side, across the top, and then back down to meet that other row of stitching. So we're connecting all of the stitches on this one. It is very important that your pocket pieces, your lining pieces are laying down. If they are flipped up, you'll close up your pocket. They need to lay down because we're top st or we're stitching up here. All right, here we go.
All right, so that is what it looks like when you're finished. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's so pretty. Isn't that a pretty accent on the back of a bag? I love the colors I chose actually. <laughs> And then on the back, that's what it looks like. You should have these lines going down here. My zipper was a little short. I cut my zipper a little short. You should have it longer like it is on this side. But this is just a, you know, this isn't for a real bag. I'm just showing you guys. So now the next thing you would do is you would flip up your main piece. And you are going to sew down and close up that zipper. Of course, this needed to be longer. So you would close up the sides of that zipper and it would be all done. And that is your zipper overlay. It really isn't, it really isn't that hard. If you have been scared to do it, I highly suggest you try that. Okay guys, those are my tips and tricks for zippers. Hopefully that covered a few things um, that you were wanting to see, a good reference video to look back at. If there are ones that I left out, or things that you wanna see, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try and make a little list to do a part two video for other tips and tricks of zippers. And yeah, that's it. Happy eighth day, is it eighth? I think it's the eighth. Happy eighth day of Christmas. And thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And thank you all. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. We'll see you next time.